Today, we're going to give you a frequently asked question. What are the allergens in keto chow? Yeah, because that's, that's kind of a big deal. If you're allergic to something, and even worse, you're on a keto diet, you, you have to be cognizant and aware of, mm -hmm. it, does this particular thing have something that you simply cannot Part have? Part of the reason you're on a keto diet is probably <laughs> yeah. because you're allergic to something. Turns out I'm allergic to sugar. It makes me fat. So there's a bunch of big allergens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so gluten and wheat. Nope. No gluten, no wheat in any keto chow. What about soy? No soy. Okay, and we don't even have, we don't have soy protein. We don't have soy lecithin, none of that. What about peanuts? Peanuts we do have. We have chocolate peanut butter and we have plain peanut butter. What about other tree nuts? No, no other tree nuts. What about, what about the pistachio? Pistachio has pistachio flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It doesn't have actual tree nuts in it. It's pretend okay. pistachio. Nutmeg. We have nutmeg okay. in a couple of things. Yeah, so the eggnog, the pumpkin, and the apple pie mm -hmm. have nutmeg. Kind of going along with that, what about cinnamon? We have cinnamon in quite a few things. Okay. We have, it's in apple pie also. Yep. It's in pumpkin spice caramel. Yep. We have eggnog and... Snickerdoodle. Pumpkin. And the, yeah, uh, we already said apple pie. What the heck? Yes. Did we say eggnog? Eggnog. I can't remember if we said eggnog. I can't okay. remember either. Um, dairy. <laughs> dairy, well, all of the keto chow that is sweet. Yeah, all the sweet flavors dairy. have dairy. So it's a milk protein isolate, mm -hmm. and it's, it's in all of them. Now, if you're lactose intolerant, that's not quite the same thing as allergic to dairy. Uh, a lot of people who are lactose intolerant are able to tolerate the small amount of lactose that is in keto chow mm -hmm. without any problems, or they just take a lactate pill. But yeah, if you're allergic to dairy, the savory flavors are about the only thing you can deal with. What about eggs? We only have eggs in eggnog. Yeah, which is kind of funny. It's, there's a little tiny bit in the actual flavoring, mm -hmm. but hey, there you go. Tomatoes, we have some friends that are allergic to tomatoes. Yep, we have two flavors that have tomato in it. It's the tomato basil and the taco soup. Fish. No fish. Like if people are allergic to shellfish? Nope. No mollusks? Fish. No fish. Okay. No what about mollusks. lupin? No lupin. No lupin, which no is kind Professor of a... Professor Lupin. <laughs> no, not that kind of lupin. <laughs> uh, sesame. No. No sesame at all? No sesame. Okay. What about pineapple? There is pineapple, actually. There's pineapple in the pina colada. Yeah, and we checked there's not coconut in the pina colada, but there is pineapple. It's in the natural flavoring. Yeah. That is all of the allergens in keto chow. Stop laughing! <laughs> okay. What about tomato? <laughs> okay. You know how many years we've been doing this? I, I don't know. Okay, what about tomatoes? We've actually got two, um... Tomato. Ta -da. Okay, what about tomato? We... <laughs> Okay, sorry.